It's important to know the features in Google Meet so you're ready to use it in the future. In the upper right hand corner, the first button will show the people that are in the meeting with you. The chat button will show you what people are typing about the meeting and you can also ask a question or send a message. The time is displayed here and either your video or your profile picture is displayed here. Going down to the bottom right hand corner, clicking on the three dots will pull up a few options. You can change the layout of how the participants look on your screen. You can put Google Meet into full screen. You can turn on captions or you can go to settings. You can also report a problem with the application. You can report abuse or you can go to a help page for more help with the application. When you press present now, you can share your screen to the rest of the, rest of the participants in the meeting. To turn on captions, press this button. This will create auto-generated English captions of what people are saying, of what you are saying, and what of other people are saying. To turn captions off, just press the button again. This icon determines whether your video is on or off. When it's red and there's a line through the camera, that means that your video is off and the other people in the meeting can't see you. When you click it and it turns white. That means that your video is on and other people can see you. This icon determines whether they can hear you or not. When this icon is white, it means that people can hear your audio and what you're saying. When you click it and it's red with a line through the microphone, that means that they can't hear you and they can't hear any audio from you. To leave the meeting, press the icon in the middle. If you accidentally leave the meeting, you can press rejoin, but if you're done, just exit out of the tab.